Welcome to Reporting Scotland. Tonight on your national news. Also tonight, the latest from the inquiry into the death of Colin McRae. The civil aviation official says the rally champion was flying illegally when he had his fatal crash. The talks before the talks. The chief executives of Celtic and Rangers get together ahead of tomorrow's government summit on old firm violence. And later, it all adds up for this Glasgow schoolboy who managed to overcome more than five million others in a global maths competition. About some numbers now, Jackie? Yeah, we're still talking competitions. Thank you very much, Rona. Because coming seventh in a maths test, well, it's not usually something to boast about. But when it's seventh out of more than five million children around the world, then that adds up to something special. But Sharan Maya from Glasgow isn't just a whiz at maths. He's also a bit of a musical marvel too. Our education correspondent, Sean McKinnon, went to meet him. If you nag your children to spend less time on computer games, think again. Sharan has become a whiz at sums, multiplying, dividing and subtracting as many as he can in one minute. In this game called Mathletics, he's now number one in the UK and seventh in the world. It's really amazing when you feel that you're playing with 5.3 million students all over the world. It's, it feels really good and there's like an adrenaline rush. Yes, he was up against over 5 million others. Classmates at Glasgow Academy can see he shows promise. He's very smart. He's also good at lots of other subjects, so I'm not sure. Are you still willing to have him as your mate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three from the other side. The game is part of a drive to stimulate interest in a subject that needs a little help. It really raises the profile of maths and um, we, it's been shown to really improve numeracy skills. Numeracy skills have dipped in Scotland. Dipped partly because there are fewer fans, fewer students. Undoubtedly, maths has an image problem. Some see it as dull and, frankly, geeky. What they perhaps haven't figured is that it can lead to a highly paid job. I think it's really fun and it's like nothing to be ashamed of if you're really good at it. I don't think maths is like you know, geeky or anything because I've always thought, I've always liked maths a lot. It's always been one of my favourite subjects. But will maths ever be up there with activities like music or even football? Well, in terms of popularity, probably not. But it could be if everyone just uh, gave it a chance. Give maths a chance. Music to the ears of mathematicians. Charlotte McKinnon, reporting Scotland, Glasgow. That young man is headed for great things. You saw him here first. No, it was...